Hello friends, this is Coop from Garage Gym Reviews. Back today to do a review specifically on the Bells of Steel Hydra Series Power Rack. This is an extremely customizable accessories out the freaking wazoo power rack designed to be modular also budget friendly but <laughs> is it we've basically got every piece that they make on this rack as well as some additional off of it that we've been able to test review and also compare to the myriad that are out there so if you're looking for a new power rack and you're wanting something that's very modular and you're like which one should i go with should i go with bells of steel rep fitness rogue fitness Titan fitness or many of the others that are out there i of all people will be able to tell you today and i'll be honest Let's get into it. Okay, before I get into it, this rack was sent to us free of charge by Bells of Steel. If you've watched any of our, <laughs> I think I've done a, over a thousand reviews now. It's getting kind of ridiculous. But if you've watched any of our others or read any of our other content, you understand I'm gonna give just my honest take on this. And you'll see, like, there's gonna be some things I say about this specifically, I have it in the back of my head, that like, I really don't like about it. But I'm gonna give that, this was sent free of charge. I just think it's important for transparency's sake. Also, if you'd like to purchase this and want to help what we do at GGR, use the links below like button. They'll pay us a small commission, but it won't increase how much you pay. But I'll be very appreciative. Okay, let's get into the review. Okay, first off, to set the stage, this rack is designed to compete with a rep PR4000, PR5000 series, a Rogue Monster Light Monster Series, a Titan X3 Titan Series type rack. This is really designed to compete with those. This is the first offering I think that I've seen from Bells of Steel that goes toe to toe with those in the power rack area. For most home gym owners, this is like the centerpiece. This is what you build off of, this is what you spend the most money on, this is what you think the most through, and you need to make a good decision because the amount of accessories that are available and just everybody comes out with, you really buy based upon the rack that you use. So this is honestly a really important decision for you that are building home gyms because you're sinking a lot of money, a lot of time, and it's just gonna take up a lot of space in your home gym. And honestly, you'll interact with it mostly every single training session. So with that said, this is a fully modular power rack and they made some unique decisions on it. First off, and this is their biggest, boldest claim, this is a true three by three upright. Right. Now that sounds kind of goofy, a true three inch by three inch upright. Why does that matter? Every company has a three inch by three inch upright. Well, they kind of don't. Most of the imported racks that we see, which this one is as well, are not a true three inch by three inch. They're actually based on the metric system, not the imperial system. So they're smaller. They call them three by three, but really they're a little bit smaller. And the reason that matters is it introduces slop when you add on other accessories. It has lower tolerances. So a true three by three inch upright is bigger and therefore will accept accessories from big companies like Rogue and Sornex in ways that say something from Rep Fitness or Titan Fitness won't. Because it's a larger diameter, it's more steel, and more steel equals more expensive. So it's one reason I think that companies say their racks are three by three is because it actually is less expensive for them to produce because it has less steel. And they're making them overseas, so that's one of the reasons they do that. But this is a true three by three. And I think that kind of matters, kind of doesn't. To some of you, it doesn't matter at all. To others, you will. Has positives and negatives. The positive is you can use and have better tolerances on accessories from Rogue and Sornex, but it may not work as well from companies like Rep Fitness and Titan. So you just have to decide. But it is a true three by three upright. We actually measured it and then compared it to our beautiful upright wall, as you can see here where we measured all those and compared the accessories to those. Now on the uprights, they're using 5 8 inch holes on this rack, which makes it comparable to the Rep PR4000. 5 8 inch holes are okay. You know, I prefer a one inch holes. There's positives and negatives to either style. What I have in my garage gym is a one inch hole upright rack. The reason I like that, it has bigger hardware. Also, some of the accessories are better and higher end, but the 5 8 inch is really the budget friendlier style rack. It has a lot of accessories that 
are still available for it, as you'll see when I talk about them. Also, the five eight inch holes allows a lot of holes. And as you'll see on the uprights on these, these have west side hole spacing, which means it's a very tight hole spacing through the bench area. This is something that was popularized by West Side Barbell and then used by Rogue Fitness, and it was named the West Side Hole Spacing, which now pretty much every company that has a five inch, inch hole rack uses as well. And this allows you to really dial in where you put the J cups for benching and for your spotter arms, so you're just dialed in, which is a very nice thing and one thing that you can't do with a one inch hole rack. Now this is also using 11 gauge steel uprights and cross members. Okay, all those, that kind of stuff is kind of standard. Now let's get into the stuff that's kind of unique. Number one is this thing is, extremely customizable, almost annoyingly so. Like you go to the product page when you're like filling it out, you like start selecting all the options. There is only over 10 categories to choose from that you have to walk through, which is kind of smart, I think, for Bells of Steel because it makes it a seamless process. Also allows people to select exactly what they want, dial in, which I like. So similar to Sonic drive through you have over 100,000 combinations of different accessories, cross members, depths, widths, and heights of racks that you can choose which is a good thing for the consumer at times if they know what they want but can be bad because Sometimes people just like going to Five Guys and saying, I want a burger, <laughs> which is sometimes nice. Okay, so when I say customizable, I mean pretty much everything. So the uprights, you can go from 72 inch all the way to 108 inch. The depth, you can go from 24 inch to 43 inch cross members. The width also is actually customizable, which a lot of companies aren't. So most companies are going with like a 47 inch outside to outside rack or a 49 inch outside to outside rack. This one you can do either. I will say there's kind of a caveat there. If you want a 47 inch rack outside to outside, there are not a lot of their accessories offered for that. So the one that this is really made for is a 49 inch outside to outside rack, which is the same as Rogue Fitness. Rep Fitness and Sornex use 47 inch. That matters for racking and unracking the bar. Some people really like that. Other people don't because they have shoulder issues and so getting their arms out there, it's a little bit nicer to have a wider rack. But I just wanna make you aware, if you're really looking for one that it's designed for, the 49 inch is really what they're selling accessories for. Now on the note of customization and modularity, this thing has attachments out the wazoo and they introduce them on the product page. So a lot of companies, you basically buy the rack and then you go through their other sections of the site and select all your accessories. This is just a single checkout page, which I like. It walks you through the process, which is kind of similar to when you get to the end of the checkout at say Target or Walmart and the impulse aisle is there, but instead of candy bars and a dollar each, are they a dollar? They're probably quite a bit more expensive. I don't use those because <laughs> we order online. But it feels like that, except you're buying metal gym equipment and it's quite a bit more expensive. So you end up buying a lot more than maybe you would because of that process. They have so many freaking accessories for this thing. I freaking love it. So if you're wanting a rack that does everything and you want to just buy from one company, you know it's going to work, and you just want all the options, say you're not somebody that really wants to like buy some from this company and that company and this company and make sure they all fit, because a lot of times they don't, you can go through just one company. So I think Bells of Steel has done this really well and their accessories at large are pretty good. It just depends on the ones. If there's any of these accessories that you'd like to see reviewed fully in depth on a video, let me know in the comments. Also, we may have links already in articles that we've done on some of them. Just let me know in the comments and we'll get to them or we'll shoot you a link. That said, I wanna hit on a few of them. So first off, I'll just look categorically. We've got the J-Cups. J-Cups overall, they're okay. I would say their J-Cups aren't as good as many other companies. Their fit and finish just isn't there. Like that's just kind of overall with this rack. The fit and finish is good to okay. Um, it's not say a rogue level. I would put it on rep or Titan. It just kind of depends on the product, but the J-Cups overall are just okay. They do have some unique features though, and they have a lot of J-Cups, like everything. It's like they just have so many options, which is cool. But my favorites of the J-Cups that they offer are the roller side to side J-Cups. They're not priced overwhelmingly. The welds and powder coat and all that are just okay. They do have a large 
QHMW roller that rolls side to side and just works really well. I really like those. One that I would avoid is the monolift arms. They're snapback monolift arms, like most monolift arms on racks. They don't come out from the rack far enough where you're not gonna have to walk back. So for bench, they're okay, but for squatting, they're not that great. The idea of the spring-loaded is pretty cool. One of them works great, but the other one sags like a limp. Then we have the safeties. Lots of safety options. The ones that I like the most are the safety straps. They have multiple colors for safety straps. I mean, this, this thing is so customizable, except the color of the rack, <laughs> which I'll talk about in a minute. But the strap color is even interchangeable. The straps work, but again, they're not going into crazy detail and upgrading the design. Like Rep, for instance, they came out with a new design that brings it lower so it doesn't swing out as much. These are just the standard kind of off the shelf, something we've seen for a long time but they're offering them at a good price, which I really think is where Bells of Steel is hitting with a lot of these accessories. Then one of the standouts, I think, is the center mount lat pull down. They have a similar rear cross member that Rep has. It's center mount, plate loaded, works really well, feels really good. This is really the design, I think, for a lat pull down in a rack. It just, just works really well and doesn't take up a ton of space and also allows you to use the back of the rack fine with that trapezoidal cross member. Whoa. I know words. But one thing about it that I don't like is the low row plate isn't adjustable. So it's just fixed, welded right there, which means you can't adjust the range of motion. Also means it's just fixed in one place. So if you want to move it out of the way, you can't. It's something that I feel like was overlooked with that. Not a huge deal. I'm not reviewing just that attachment, but I just wanted to make it known. And then lastly, one of their standout options is the seal row pad, which I think is pretty cool. Kind of like the Bulldog pad. Of all their accessories, that's one that you may want to see a full review on. Let me know in the comments. Also, they do have some sliding jammer arms. We haven't used them yet. They're on back order, as are a lot of these attachments, actually, as I was going through the checkout. But I'd like to use those as well. If you'd like to see a review on those, let me know. Then lastly, on the attachments, many of these have a unique hitch pin used specifically for holding their attachments on. They have the BOS logo laser cut out of it. It's like this weird flag thing. I like the idea of a custom hitch pin. I think it's a cool addition, but these ones specifically, I don't like. Like I pr would prefer a normal hitch pin. The reason being, one, they stick out pretty far and they have kind of sharp edges. I don't think it's very safe in a rack. Number two, the plate steel that they're using is very thin and they bend. It's just overall, it's like, ah, it's a cool addition, but I don't think it was very well done. So honestly, personally, I'd like to just see them use a hitch pin or upgrade these to something that's like magnetic or something that isn't sticking out from the rack as much. This video is brought to you by Future. I've been using Future for nearly three years. I've done over 500 workouts, burned nearly 300,000 calories, and worked out nearly 30,000 minutes, and all recorded, all used in Future. I've had the opportunity to use just about every program that's out there, but I have not stuck to a program longer than I've done Future. Yes, this is a paid ad, but I wouldn't do a paid ad for something I didn't like. I think I've shown that I really like Future by using it for as long as I have. If you too would like to use Future and would like to like Future, then click the link below the like button. We've got a special deal just for our Garage Gym Review subscribers. Enjoy. Now let's talk about, I think the most interesting part is that that is the value. How does this compare to the Rep PR4000, Titan X3, and say the Rogue Monster Lite? So it's kind of in the middle, surprisingly. I was thinking when I initially saw this rack, Hydra Series from Bells of Steel, they're also importing this rack, just like other companies that are out there like Rep and Titan, not Rogue. Rogue's making these in the US. This one is imported, which by the way, when you go on Bells of Steel site, I couldn't find anywhere on the product page with like, there's so much freaking text on there. They have a really good copywriter, by the way. There's so much text on there, but I didn't find a single where it was made. I saw some American flags, like trusted since, you know, whenever they were founded, but it never said where it was from. And I just don't like that. Like I would like it to just know if I'm buying something, where is it from? But that said, this is made in a similar place as Rep and Titan. And so I was expecting the price to be similar, but this is actually more expensive and kind of surprisingly so. So here's the breakdown. So I had Sam basically make this base model of rack that could be the same amongst the Titan X3 and the Rep PR4000. This one, which included safety straps, the same height, 
six posts and standard J cups was $1,895.81 with free shipping to our door. So all that for that price. When we did it for the Rep PR 4000, all the same stuff, it came out to $1,502. So like a 300 something dollar difference between rep and bells of steel. And really the only big benefit I see with this one maybe is that it uses true three by three, whereas rep is using a little bit smaller upright. Other than that, I was really surprised that this one was more expensive than what rep was offering. And then when you look at the Titan X3 for the same build out, it's 1,329 bucks. So like this vast difference in price. And the difference is both of those companies are offering their racks in many different colors. And Bells of Steel, they're offering this in any color that you could absolutely want so long as that color is black. <laughs> so you get one option and you have to do it for a more expensive price. So overall, the value on this, it's okay. It's not as good, I feel like, as Rep. Now, they're offering some unique attachments with this. They're offering a true three by three upright. They're doing a 49 inch width. It's also very customizable. So there's some stuff in this that I think is interesting. But if I'm looking at all of these across the spectrum and I'm like, which one do I want with a five eight inch hole? I would have a hard time recommending this one over say the Rep PR 4000 that really has a ton of accessories as well, colors, and is really even less expensive. Okay, so all that said, I think this is an interesting offering. I think it's a good rack. I love the customization. I love the checkout process. I love how many accessories they're doing. I love that instead of coming out with things just in stages, they just like, let's just bring everything out. I think that's really cool, but I'm not sure if the value's there. All right, let me know in the comments what you think. Do you think the price is good? Is this something that you have? I know a lot of people have this rack. I'd love to hear from you what your experience is. I love when people shout that out in the comments, so let me know. Do you feel like I missed anything, or is there any specific accessories you'd like to see me review from Bells of Steel that's on this rack right now? Let me know in the comments. This has been Coop from Garage and Reviews. I'll see you next time. Peace.